Every year, the New Philharmonic Orchestra holds a competition for young musicians in which they're given a chance to be selected to perform alongside the New Philharmonic Orchestra. I'm delighted to welcome Amelia Corbett to the show. She's the winner of last year's competition who recently performed at the New Philharmonic Encore Concert. Amelia is currently a sophomore at Downers Grove North and she has made time in her busy schedule to talk to us a little bit about her experience. Welcome to the show. Hi. Hi. So Amelia, tell me, how long have you been playing? Um, so I started when I was four and I'm 16, so I've been playing for 12 years. Um, I wanted to play when I was two, but my parents thought that was a little bit early and they really wanted me to learn piano. But when I was four, they finally decided that I could um, learn violin. At two, you wanted to play the violin? Yeah, yeah. Isn't that amazing? <laughs> now, does your do your parents play? Um, my, neither one of my parents play. My dad's a guitarist and he teaches um, choral. He's a choir director and then my mom um, teaches at, the, at North Central College and Vandercook College of Music as an adjunct voice professor and she also sings in the CSO chorus, but not, neither one of them play violin. So you just loved it. You've always loved music. Um, yeah, yeah. That's wonderful. So tell me, how did you hear about the new Philharmonic con uh, concert, uh, the contest? So um, my orchestra teacher at Downers North, Jennifer Mullen, she sent me an email one day. She sends me e emails periodically about competitions and things like that. And it just, sometimes they don't work out because of my schedule. But in this case, this um, one for the new Philharmonic worked out. And so um, it was a good day for me. So I, I just called up my accompanist and I said, Here, I want to do this. And so then that's how I heard about it. And so you auditioned for the maestro or? Um, yes. It, the only person in the room that listened to me was the maestro and then I, after I played he talked to me a little bit about my future and things like that and then um, that was that. So did he give you good news about your future? Um, he, I mean he gave me suggestions about you know what colleges to look at and uh -huh. preparatory schools and things like that um, but he was very he was he's a really charismatic person and he's super positive. He is very positive isn't he? Yeah. Has it been a good experience for you to win? Um, yeah the interesting thing is I I haven't. I played the Bartok Romanian folk dances last year, and and obviously there's. I have to continue learning other things for, um, you know, competitions and things like that throughout the year. But then I realized I needed to go back and relearn Bartok, and it was a good experience because that's not something that I usually get to do uh -huh. because it's you know it's we're always like crunching for learning more and more music. Mm -hmm. So this was I was really grateful. So you played in a concert. Yeah. You were featured. Yeah. How was that? Um, it was a lot of fun actually. It was. It was really like you know how sometimes you you're about to do something that you've never really done before because this is the first time that I've I've played here as a soloist and things like that so it was uh, really special because my family was there and I, I I felt good about the performance and it was just it was just a lot of fun for me and you got to play on the day David Taylor who's the concert master of the CSO played yes so you were in good company uh, yeah he's he's incredible so now you can say you played with David Taylor yes and an orchestra yes. yes that's pretty spectacular Yeah. so tonight I know that you have to leave to go play yeah so who are you playing with tonight um so I'm part of a competitive string quartet we're called the vernacular string quartet at the Merritt School of Music and oh. um, we have two chamber concerts a year one in first semester and one in the second semester and this is kind of our um, cumulative concert for the year so that's going to be really fun because um, the second violinist in the quartet is graduating. So this is going to be kind of sad tonight, um, oh. but it'll be fun. And is this what you want to do? Um, I believe so. Life is kind of a toss up, but at the same time, it's something that I really enjoy doing. And I feel like it's a way that I can contribute to the world. So it's a lot of fun. It's your gift. I, I guess you could say that. I don't know. It is your gift. <laughs> But you have to work. You have to have a right. passion for it. Yeah, that's, exactly. That's the thing about the arts, right? I've, yeah. I've always found that if, you know, there's people who are like, oh, I love it. I'm like, you have to love it, like eat, sleep, and breathe it, love it, right. want it, right. you know? It's almost instinctive for some people. It so. is. Yeah. It is. Do you think we could get you to play before you leave? Sure, to sure. To perform? I would sure. love for everybody to get to hear you play. Yeah, of course. Wonderful. Okay. All right.
Bravo, that was wonderful. Thank you. Now we see why you won the contest. <laughs> That's a lot of work. Yeah. How long did it take you to memorize that one? Uh, probably about three weeks or so. I bet. Yeah. Congratulations and thank you so much thank for being you. here. For more information on future programming or events, please call the box office at 630-942-4000 or visit us at atthemac.org. On behalf of the Mac and the Tart Center and the College of DuPage, I'm Diana Martinez and thanks for watching. We look forward to seeing you at the theater and next time on Backstage Buzz.